Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Islamic Stories for Kids. Today's story is called Halal Hot Dogs. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Musa. Ahmed, Abdul Aziz, Mustafa, Abdi Salam. But most people just call me Musa. Today is Friday. My favorite day of the week. Every Friday, my family and I head to Jum'ah prayer at the masjid. Afterwards, we go home and share a special Jum'ah treat. But lately, our Jum'ah treats have been interesting. A couple of weeks ago, Mama made her mlochia. It's great for slurping and sharing. But I accidentally squeezed lemon in Sidi's eyes. And we all had lochia teeth for days. The next week, Baba tried to grill some kufti kebabs. We usually wrap them in pita bread with pickled beets. They're pretty delicious. They come out perfect when Mama makes them. It turned out Baba's kufti was perfect for playing soccer with. Next, Sidi made his favorite rizbi harib. Creamy rice pudding with yummy pistachios sprinkled on top. But Sidi lost his teeth in the process. We spent an hour searching the house. Let's just say dentures aren't good for flavor. Then last week, Mariam shared her collection of jelly beans she keeps under her bed. I only licked this one once. Need I say more? This week? It is finally my turn. I picked a treat that everyone is going to love. Halal hot dogs. I'm going to stop at the hot dog stand right after Juma prayer. The one a block away from the masjid is the absolute best. They make the halal hot dogs just right. The perfect amount of hot, chewy, juicy hot dog goodness. They also have a special sauce that we all love, salam sauce, our family favorite. It's a perfect blend of white sauce and mustard. We head out the door. I love walking to the masjid with my family. When we get really excited, we like to dance debk. My baba taught me the steps. I begin to bend my knee and step. Bend my knee and step. Kick and stomp. I add my own jump at the end. It's really high. I'm pretty sure I fly for four whole seconds. I hear CD calling me back, telling me to tie my shoes. Sometimes I forget to do that. We finally arrive at the masjid. We listen to the khutbah. It is very long and I am hungry. My Stomach rumbles and grumbles. Imam Fawaz clears his throat and gives me a side glance. I try to focus during Salah, like my Baba and Sidi, but my stomach roars away. Louder and louder. After Salah, I'm ready in a flash with my shoes on. It takes Sidi a while because he has to help Mariam find her red shoes. Mama is catching up with friends. I can't wait any longer. My Baba hands me some money and tells me to run ahead. He's right behind me. The different smells of the food stands are wonderful. My mouth waters as I pass people eating. Falafel? Tacos? Bao? Shish kebab, samosa, churros, fresh mango, Italian ice, and halal hot dogs. The line is really long. Help. I see hot dog snatchers. Hey! And flyaway hot dogs. I run into my neighborhood friends buying halal hot dogs too. Lou, wait. And Xavier live on my block. Whoa, hi. 
I guess my school principal, Mrs. Imen, likes halal hot dogs too. She bought ten. I counted. Fireman Rodriguez bought enough for all the firefighters at the station. Oh no! What if they run out of halal hot dogs? I hope there are some left for me. It's finally my turn. Special salam sauce, please. I buy a whole bag full. We're all so excited for our Juma treat, but we made a rule: no eating until we get home. I can't wait to share my treat. I begin to bend my knee and step, bend my knee and step, kick and stomp. My jump must be the highest ever recorded. This time, I'm pretty sure I flew for eight point six five four seconds. When I land, I'm home finally. My family all gathers around. I open the bag, reach in, and pull out. Falafel. Well, good thing there are a few halal hot dog stands nearby. The one across the street is actually the absolute best. They make halal hot dogs just right. The perfect amount of hot, chewy, juicy hot dog goodness. And they have a special salam sauce to dip them in. The sauce tastes pretty good with falafel too. The end. Thanks for listening, little ones. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more Islamic stories for kids. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.